Have you ever wondered why some people seem to build wealth effortlessly, while others struggle to save even a little? Today, I am going to share with you one of the most powerful concepts in finance, something Albert Einstein supposedly called the eighth wonder of the world, compounding. If you are new to investing or just trying to understand how money really works, this video is for you. By the end, you will understand why starting early, even with small amounts like $5 that you pay for a coffee every day, can completely transform your financial future. So what exactly is compounding? In simple terms, compounding is when you earn returns not just on your original investment, but also on the returns you've already earned. It's like a snowball rolling down the hill. It starts small, but as it rolls, it picks up more snow and grows bigger and bigger. Think of it this way. If you plant an apple tree, it gives you apples. But if you plant the seeds from these apples, you get more trees. And those trees give you more apples, which give you more seeds, which give you more trees. That's compounding in nature. Let me show you some simple numbers. If you start with $1,000 and earn 10% each year, you don't just get $100 every year. In the first year, you do get $100 and end up with $1,100. But in the second year, you earn 10% of that $1,100, so you get $110 and end up with $1,210. Then in year three, you earn 10% on $1,210, which gives you $121, bringing you to $1,331. Your earnings are growing each year, even though the percentage stays the same and you didn't invest any extra money. That extra growth, that's the magic of compounding. And now it gets really exciting. Let's compare two friends. Charlie starts investing at 25, invests $200 per month until he is 65. So his total investment is $96,000. Warren starts investing at 35, also invests $200 per month until he is 65. He invested $72,000. Both get the same 7% annual return. Guess what happens? Charlie ends up with about $525,000. Warren ends up with about $244,000. Charlie invested just $24,000 more, but ended up with $281,000 more. That extra 10 years made all the difference. Time is your best friend when it comes to compounding. Let me share a mind-blowing example. If you invest just $5 a day, that's one coffee, starting at age 20, and you get an average 8% return, that is way below the returns you would get from the S&P 500 in the long term, by the age of 30, you will have about $26,000. By 40, you'll have around $83,000. By 50, you'll have $206,000, by 60, $472,000, and by the age of 65, you'll have about $705,000. You only put in about $82,000 of your own money over 45 years, but compounding turned it into over 
700,000. That's the price of a daily coffee creating a really meaningful amount of money. Here is a quick trick to understand compounding. The rule of 72. Divide 72 by your annual return rate. And that tells you roughly how many years it will take to double your money. At 6% returns, 72 divided by 6 gives you 12 years to double. At 8% returns, 72 divided by 8 equals 9 years to double. At 10% returns, 72 divided by 10 equals 7.2 years to double. That means that at 10% returns, $10,000 becomes $20,000 in about 7 years, then $40,000 in 14 years, then $80,000 in 21 years. And if you think that you will not be able to find an investment that can generate around 10% over such a long term, well, just look at the history of the S&P 500 over the past century. The S&P 500 has averaged around 10.2% per year. Does it mean that it will do so in the future? Of course not. But since it was working for the last 100 years, it definitely has an ability to produce similar results in the future. So how do you put compounding to work for you? Start now. Seriously, time is more valuable than money when it comes to compounding. Even if you can only invest $50 a month, start today. Be consistent. Regular contributions, even small ones, add up dramatically over time. Set up automatic transfers so you don't even have to think about it. Reinvest your returns. Don't spend your dividends or interest. Let them compound. This is how the snowball grows. Be patient. Compounding starts slowly. You might not see much difference in the first few years, but stick with it. The real magic happens after 10, 20, 30 years. Choose simple investments. Consider low-cost ETFs that track the market. Historically, the stock market has returned around 10% annually over long periods. Quick warning what can kill your compounding. Waiting to start. Every year you wait costs you thousands in the future. Trying to time the market. Stay invested. Don't jump in and out. High fees. A 2% fee might not sound like much, but it can cut your final amount by 40% or more over 30 years. And finally, not being patient. Pulling money out early breaks the compounding chain. Look, I know investing can seem scary or complicated, but here is the truth. Compounding doesn't require you to be a financial genius. You don't need to find the perfect stock or time the market perfectly. You just need three things. Start early, be consistent, and be patient. So here is my challenge to you. Open an investment account this week. Even if you start with just $50 or $100 a month, you are already ahead of everyone who is still waiting for the perfect time. This is exactly what I am teaching my children. And even though the amounts are small, they are already building a portfolio that in the future will open new opportunities for them.
If this video helped you understand compounding, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more simple explanations of how money really works. If you enjoyed this video, then you should definitely watch Howard Marx's timeless tips on investing. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.